pink desert was made for drop shooting. I think that's something Gabby said. Drop shooting is, that's not gonna work too close. Drop shooting is diving into the ground, like doing a dive boost into the ground though and hitting fly. Dive boosting into the ground and hitting and hitting fly and then reversing the, the stick the the uh, your your right stick is always back so you're reversing your left stick going forward then back and that's the same as dive boosting it's just a forward and then back and maybe that's the easiest way to think of it. It's like a dive boost that you're reversing when you're hitting the ground first. So you're basically doing a dive boost into the ground, which is actually what fancy flying, oh, what uh, fast flying is too. Um, and I think you get a little bit more height if you actually, uh, that's why the pink dead because of the dunes. It's easiest to do on these dunes. If you go a little bit over the edge, you get a little bit more height. It's almost like you get a, a boost from that, that, that lip, or that peak. Because if you just go off of it, it doesn't seem to give you quite so much. I was watching Gabby do this one time, I'm like, man, how is she getting all that height? And then I watched her video, I'm like, oh, that's how she's getting all that height. You can also take off forward rather than reversing it. This I find personally a little more challenging. Something like that. Here's another way, you don't want to hit fly once you're in the air, but you may need to hit fly to take off, depending on what you're doing. So sometimes hitting fly is useful, but you don't want to be hitting fly once you've taken off and are in the air. This is a good place to RDS to. You can do it on flat ground. You can also go forward off of flat ground. Sorry, my, I'm having trouble keeping my controller in the camera. Okay, so ah, it was bad. Sorry. Reverse off of flat ground before I hit, hit that thing. And then again, trying to go forward off the of flat ground is a little trickier. Okay, it's it's hard to explain too. I'm I'm doing it, but it's it's hard to explain. It's almost like you're teasing it, teasing yourself up off the ground. Um, so it's like this way is easy. It's just a reverse. And one thing I'm doing, you're, you're letting go of fly at the same time you're reversing. So let go of fly and reverse. And you don't have to be holding your right stick down. Although it may help. See there, I, I think I failed because I, for me, I think it's a mental thing. Holding my right stick down gives me the mental idea that I'm plowing into the ground. Whoops. Also, the, <laughs> the sand isn't completely flat. <laughs> See, I'm not holding it down now. Okay. And now this is going to be important. This whole technique here, the reversing of it, is going to be important. 
going forward off of dunes is much more fun rather than going forward off the off of straight ground. Now, Flocati has some uh, slow drop shooting and stuff like that, which is a little bit more. That was a nice one. You just got. Go back for my symbol now. <laughs> But that reversing it is going to be useful for other flying tricks. Like RDSing. Because if this is a drop shoot, this is a reverse drop shoot. Except not quite. But it is reversing the drop shoot. Okay. And our, our, an actual RDS is a little bit, has another step to it. So we'll get to that. I'm not going to do it here because here is actually a really hard spot to do it. So, um, and of course, some of us like to just go through the entire pink desert drop shooting it. It can be a rather antisocial endeavor. But it can also be a lot of fun. And it's a good uh, speed running technique too, is a lot of drop shooting through the desert. And you can even, if you do it right, I didn't do it quite right. That's okay. You want to go there anyway. You, you can drop shoot. Up. You can get a pretty high drop shoot off of that, but I, I didn't really do a very good job of it. I wasn't getting anything on that. And sometimes it just takes some trial and error as you go, because even I'm making slight adjustments as I go when I fail at something, you know, when I don't feel right. It's definitely something you start to feel as you do it. And of course, I'm I'm actually very, uh, not very good at all this. There are people who are, I missed the symbol. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was bad. Oh, here's a, whoops. <laughs> Zen jumping down a hill. Kind of a fun, silly thing to do. <coughs> Honey, want to feed the doggy? Please. That was some nice boost. If I had any scarf left, it would be charged up. It would be really awesome. Fudge. I might make it. Fly, fly a boosting spot. Oops. If I had my head on straight. Feed the dog. Yeah. Okay. This one is just a matter of Jumping off. And sometimes 
it's easier just to try to catch those fires. Maybe not even be able to dive yet, but you can get into dive straight after that. And there are certainly different techniques to do this. You can fly off the fires, you can fly through them, you can try to catch the um, these fires on the way back up. I've seen people do this all sorts of ways. This is the way I usually do it, is just go off of them. And sometimes I have to stall a bit um, on my way down. I get some nice high boost. I get this nice high boost as a red as a red cloak too. You see, I have to kind of maneuver myself a little way to get to get the way I want to go, and then I kind of will stall a little bit to get myself around. And then one other technique is to come around here. And I missed them, but to catch the flyers there too. And it's not something I normally do. But it will get you even higher because you got even more, you've done even more diving. My dog has dinner and he doesn't want to eat. Not quite sure what's up with that. And then one fun thing to do from this. What's the matter, Cosmo? is to do this. Haha! <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Of course, I'm going to go back out there. Maybe I'll show that dive boost. Which will be much easier now that I've, I'm white and I've collected that symbol as well. I need to pause for a moment for my dog. So next. Big dune. This is the big dune. Um, so this is the easiest spot. You can do it from, if you're a good a dive booster, you can do it from anywhere along here. But this is a good spot to, to practice the dive boosting. And one of the, the fun places to do it because it gets you somewhere. Um, and that is to jump. And then one, two, three, four, five, and up. And you probably won't make it that easily the first time, but we'll get there. I'm going to do another one. So that was a really nice, slow, leisurely. Slow, leisurely pumps. And you're pretty much at the same level, I think. Maybe you're a little lower. You're a little lower. That you're going to a little lower place. This is a fairly easy one to do because you're not going up. Um, top of the Shrine Tower and the Underground is another one. You are going up, but you're not going up as high as you might think. You know, the Shrine Tower seems really high when you're standing at the ground at the bottom of it, but when you're at the top of the slope, it's not that high. You're pretty much level with um, a third of the way down. So. I think this is one of the ones where a leisurely, a more leisurely serves you better. I think a quick one might um, might not be what you want to do. I know I always do it at a slow leisurely pace, even as a red cloak. And you'll notice, I don't, I don't know if you can see how I hold my controller when I'm doing all this. I pretty much, I was you much better at that that time. I pretty much always have my controller pointed down. 
And when I don't have my controller pointed down, when I hold it like this, is when I run into problems. So I almost always have my controller held, you know, down, like hand you know, in lap, rather than like this or anything like that. And I think that makes the flying a lot easier. So if I do this with quick pumps, that just felt weird to me. It still got me where I wanted to go. So it doesn't make much difference there. Uh, the only place I can think of where it actually makes a difference how fast you're pumping is uh, in the tower. Um, uh, another place that might be good to practice dive boosting is like here, where you can go from one end to the other. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's fun to do this um, after you hit the sim uh, collect the symbol and then use the extra symbol juice to help you more. And here's another fun place to drop shoot. This was one of Kylie's things. After a <laughs> after Skilly Man came up with the drop shooting, Kylie posted a video of drop shooting off these stairs. And you can see I'm really lame at it. There we go. And it's another one where the uh, chirping actually helps you stick in. It's almost like you're charge boosting against the stairs. It helps you get a bit more height. But we start with just a simple drop shoot. fun thing to do is do this as a ready with somebody charging down below. I've had a couple of people really good at ready ready uh, support. I am not so good at ready support. I'm not used to being ready support. When I travel with another red cloak, I, I'm really challenged. Uh, I'm used to being the one supported, not the one supporting. <laughs> See, I'm holding my controller. I, actually, the video doesn't give a good, get it. It's hard to stay straight. Ah, I missed it. Oh, well. That is commonly known as shrine stooping. I'm not going to really stay at this much longer, but let's see how far I get. I was thinking about doing a speed run. Okay. Here we go. Two, three, avoid the carpet. Ah, oh, man. I, mi I missed. I didn't go high enough. Oh, I am such a failure. 